Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome to my channel. And I'm bringing the world to my living room. Gear into experiencing life beyond the ordinary, celebrating diversity, and making every moment unforgettable, and continue watching for today's episode. What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna talk about what $100 a night gets you in Gudari, Georgia, which is the ski resort town, four hours away from the capital. So let's see. First off, there's an Airbnb, and they kind of consider it an apartment hotel. So, a key card, worked everything out with the host already. I had a check-in downstairs with the reception, super easy. First off, we have the cabinets right here. They stocked it up with blankets and pillows. A lot of towels. And, uh, make our way to the main area so came with a little kitchen area uh, if you've never been in Georgia it's super famous for their local wines so about two different bottles if you've been in Georgia let me know which bottle you prefer but make sure to get a bottle opener <laughs> didn't get one at first so I had to run to the spar store which is like a local convenience store and um, Next up, got the couch. So already stayed a few nights here, so that's why it may not be the cleanest or the, the most prepped, but when we did check in, it was super nice and clean. The bed, really comfortable, plenty of towels. There is like a central heating area for the whole apartment where they keep the temperature the same across the entire apartment. So, but right now, since I'm close to checking out, a little hot, so I had to open up the window. You can see we're like in the central new area. It also came with free Wi-Fi and a really responsive host, so no complaints, no issues. Uh, at first, I didn't think the room was hot enough, but after like being climatized to cold weather, now I think it's too hot. <laughs> so. This uh, things to consider when you first come over here, and you gotta make sure you bring enough layers because, man, outside at night it gets freezing cold. So not much to it. Uh, not bad. There is cheaper areas, but they're typically further away from like the central ski resort town. So further down the hill so you'd have to get some sort of transportation to take you up to the gondolas and the ski lifts so for this price in this area I think it's a pretty good price for what you get all things considered so they did staff it with all the kitchen knives forks a uh, mini fridge there is a bath and shower came with uh, little shower gels and shampoos which uh, was helpful. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. Fun fact, if you've never been to a ski town, which I haven't, this is my first time, they have little heating racks for like your clothes and towels. So that way it doesn't freeze or you can use it the next day with no worries. They can control how hot or cold it is based up on these little knobs is a huge plus. Well, I'm about to go eat breakfast and get some of the local cuisine. They have this bread with the egg on it, which is, I've heard great stories about. So I'm about to go try that. Let me know what you guys think. Is this fair? Overpriced, underpriced? How does it compare to other towns? Like being the Swiss, which I know is super more expensive or like in Colorado, way more expensive. So if you ever want to come over here, I think it's great value for sure. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the rest of the content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.